Hey guys, Cal here bringing you another video. This is not going to be an update on the Rush series, but more of an update on uh, something that just happened. I don't know how recently it happened, but uh, the hero potion now makes your heroes maxed out for their level. And this is a really big deal because now it makes it so that this account and all Rush accounts are now relevant and it makes it so that there's almost no reason not to rush. Uh, if you look at what I have now, it's very bad for specifically war. Yes, we have the dragon and we have the zaps and electro dragons to two star any base, but when it comes down to it, the real thing holding us back was our hero levels. But now that this maxes out our hero levels, uh, a base that I would never be able to hit we are going to be hitting a Town Hall uh, 11, and we're Town Hall 13, but this is a base that would be kind of difficult to hit if without our heroes, and uh, with this new update, it'll make it so that we can. Um, I'm going to show what is possible now with uh, this attack here, uh, showing that this is definitely a base that we wouldn't be able to hit. Um, but this is with my new Town Hall 13, so we have the boost here, uh, but we only have the Town Hall uh, 12 troop space. And because we have the boost, this attack right here can be done now with our uh, brand new uh, Town Hall 13 because of this boost. We only have level 1 heroes, but now they can be level 75 versus level 6 making it so that we wouldn't be able to do uh, attacks like this here, uh, be able to 3-star. This one got a little bit uh, messy, but uh, a 3-star is a 3-star, and because of this hero boost, we are allowed to now 3-star even if we are super rushed. This might be problematic for specifically wars. Uh, I can see a world where uh, everyone rushes their town hall, to the max town hall, town hall 16, you have two maxed out 16s, and everyone else has only level 1 defenses, and they just use boosts to kind of win easy wars. Uh, so it could become problematic, I hope it doesn't, because this is a really big game changer. So, I'm just going to show off what we can do here, so I'm just going to do this here, and I'm going to do this here, to boost us up, and as you see, we are pretty much maxed out here. Uh... And we're about to go to max troop space, but we're currently at a Town Hall uh, 12 troop space right near. And because of Raid Weekend, we can buy uh, these potions to make sure that we will never run out. And if you're in a clan that can donate to you a lot, uh, you don't even have to use your resources on that. But here we're just going to go in for a raid here. It looks like there's no CC, which is great. Um, but let's just go right into it here. Now we're able to queen walk, which is something I didn't think we would ever be able to do until, well, I don't think I ever thought I would be able to do it um, on specifically this account here. I thought this one would be, we're doomed to non-queen charge attacks, but because of this, uh, we are now able to do that. Let's drop a yeti here to really make sure our funnel is good. We're going to go straight for this eagle here. And then we can just keep on going. Oh, there might be a, a black mine here. Hopefully this balloon can get there in time. Oh, it looks like we're going the other direction. But uh, might as well start off on this funneling over here. Oops, messed that up. <laughs> we'll drop uh, one hog here to help us out. I'm going to take a mine there. Um, but now that this is all cleared out, we don't want to waste too much time. Let's not mess that up there. Never mind, we're going to mess that up there. I'm going to go to hero ability. Good thing we're attacking low. Uh, but this is more of a proof of concept rather than an actual attack. And because we're attacking uh, low here, because that's all that's left, uh, it doesn't really matter too much in the long run here. Uh, queen is going to fight this king. We'll just poison this queen right here and uh, just pop everything. No need to have too technical of an attack here. But... Uh, because of the new way to farm the new loot, 
is wars. So we're going to be doing a lot more wars here in the clan, uh, which means we might see more war content. Let me know if that is something you would want to see uh, in the future. But we're just going to do two attacks here. I messed it up somewhere. What did we do? We need to cut a freeze here. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments if you're interested in more war content. Uh, warring is kind of where my roots were before I started just farming all the time. But uh, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun here to do wars. And uh, especially now, I do enjoy that this update has kind of brought life back into the war scene. Uh, the, the lack of the need for wars has been uh, not sad, but it, it's definitely a change of pace. When wars first came out, no, uh, when warring first came out, it was this huge deal, and everyone was really interested in getting their um, their strategies really polished to take down various people in war, and it feels like that need has kind of diminished, and that's mostly because uh, you don't get anything from warring. Uh, someone in my comments a while back uh, commented what was the purpose of warring, and when I was answering them, I realized that the answer I was giving them was mostly just to get good at the game. And uh, with all the various resources available to you in a clan, uh, just in Clash of Clans where we have the Clan War League, the CWL, is like where now you really go if you want to flex your strength, but also when it comes to uh, like the clan capital, you don't really need, uh, that gives you stuff that is allowing you to kind of just farm all the time and progress your board or progress your base. Whereas clan wars never really gave you anything that is made you want to do it because it didn't progress you at all. It only give you war stars and uh, have a really cool uh, war win streak, which doesn't really matter to a lot of people anymore. But now, because you get the the new loot here, does it say in the war details? No. Maybe it isn't finished building yet. Did I build it yet? Oh, I haven't even built it yet. No. Um, yeah, because it gives you that new loot, now there's going to be a need to actually war more often now and for you to get better at the game. Because, of course, farming is easy and fun. Uh, but when you hit Town Hall 16 or whatever uh, threshold that you're trying to get, it, it would be really frustrating if you haven't uh, gotten the necessary skills in order to be successful in uh, your war days. So uh, if you want to war with me, of course, you can join uh, Just Cows on Farms. We're going to be doing back-to-back -back wars because now we it's a, a form of farming now. In order to farm, we need to war. So we're just going to be doing back-to-back -back wars. If you can't attack, don't worry about it. Sometimes I won't be able to attack and we'll probably lose the war because of how many attacks I need to do. But nonetheless, well, having more people and more warring might have more benefits to having bigger wars, bigger loot. But I don't know if it's just purely based on uh, what you hit. But if you want to learn how to get better, definitely uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of these attacks, if you want me to go more in depth to attacks like the hybrid uh, or bowlers and all that, uh, definitely let me know down in the comment section. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.